Several studies and survey findings have determined that there are real differences in personality between dog people and cat people. Whether you identify as a cat person or a dog person can say a lot about your preferences and how you interpret the world around you. In this video, we will explore the personality differences between dog people and cat people according to psychology. Cat people are more neurotic than dog people. A study by the University of Texas determined that cat people showed more neurotic behaviors than dog people by about 12%. Neuroticism in psychology is defined as a tendency towards anxiety, persistent worrying, and self-consciousness. Neurotic people easily get stressed or upset. Frequent anxiety, constant worrying, and feelings of guilt are signs of high neuroticism. But there is an upside. Neurotic people tend to care more about what others think, and they have a strong need to provide for others, which can push them to be good team players. They also have greater self-awareness and may be more vigilant about their actions. Dog people are more extroverted. Multiple studies have shown that dog people are much more sociable compared to cat people. They are also more likely to distinguish themselves as people persons. Cat owners, on the other hand, tend to be introverted and keep to themselves. If we assume humans are more drawn to the kind of animals that they are similar to, then it would make sense that dog owners would tend to be more extroverted, outgoing, and livelier. This is because dog parents are going to want to be out there, outside, talking to people while walking their dog. Whereas if you're more introverted and sensitive, maybe you prefer to relax at home and read a good book. Cat people are more intelligent than dog people. While most studies show that cat people are more introverted and in general like to spend more time alone, there is also a lot of evidence that suggests that people who like cats tend to be more naturally intelligent. In a personality experiment carried out in Wisconsin, USA, 600 college students were asked about their pet preference, then asked a series of questions to determine their intelligence levels. The outcome showed that most of the feline fans achieved a higher score than the canine lover participants. Another study conducted by Bristol University found that people who own a cat are more likely to have a university degree than those with a pet dog. Cat people are more open-minded. In almost all the studies done on the topic of cat people versus dog people, those who love kitties tend to produce results that indicate they are more creative and adventurous. They possess a stronger sense of imagination and hold a greater appreciation for new experiences, arts, and emotions. These people are also more likely to hold unconventional and unusual beliefs, straying from traditional, cliché interests and ideas. It is even stated that cat people are more likely to lean towards the left when voting during elections. The studies found that the effect even persisted regardless of gender of the respondents. Interestingly enough, the personality profiles of creative people and cat people are remarkably similar, suggesting that people who are considered creative tend to prefer cats as pets. Dog people are likely to tolerate cats, but cat people hate dogs. Despite studies showing that cat lovers are more open-minded, there is one thing that they aren't open-minded towards, that thing being dogs. Psychologists from University of British Columbia were researching the concept of people's personalities being reflected by their pets and asked each cat person, if you had adequate living space and there were no objections from other people in your life and someone gave you a puppy as a gift, would you keep it? The responses showed that over two-thirds of cat lovers would not accept the puppy. Whereas, when dog lovers were asked the same question about a cat, 70% of them said they would admit a cat into their household. This kind of makes sense. If dog people are more sociable and extroverted, they are more likely to be tolerant of a wider range of personalities and animals. However, if cat people are introverted and reserved, then they are likely to find a doggo a bit too boisterous and intrusive. Dog owners are more dominant. Another study from Australia, published in 2015, found that dog owners scored higher on dominance-related traits than cat owners. People who are high on dominance are generally described as being forceful, assertive, and persistent. These people tend to stand out in social gatherings. Cat owners, conversely, are people who are low in dominance and come across as being more timid, bashful, shy, and unaggressive. 
Cat people are more likely to live alone than dog people. One study found that cat owners are a third more likely to live alone than dog owners. Being married, living in a house, and having children living in the home are all factors that are more likely for dog owners than cat owners. In addition, according to the statistics, the most likely individuals to own cats are single women. Cat people are more likely to be atheists. One recent study published in the Journal for Scientific Study of Religion examined the role of religion in pet ownership and found that people who attended religious services tended to own fewer pets. More specifically, they were less likely to own cats than other people, but not less likely to own dogs. The reasons for this are unclear, but they might relate to the personality traits of those who prefer dogs over cats. Dog people believe they are more masculine. It has been said many times that all cats look like females and all dogs look like males. Although there are exceptions, a study conducted on 326 individuals found that dog lovers of both sexes see themselves as more masculine than cat lovers do. Now that we talked about the personality differences between dog people and cat people, let's talk about some interesting findings on differences between pet owners and non-owners. Pet owners live longer. There is scientific research that suggests pet owners live longer than those without pets. This is mainly because pets alleviate tension and help us relax. They keep loneliness at bay. They even help lower our blood pressure. Plus, if you have a dog, they keep you active with walks. Pet owners have healthier hearts. Cuddling and petting your pet produces a calm, relaxed feeling, which is caused by the release of oxytocin in the brain. This feel-good chemical makes your body feel more peaceful and even helps to lower blood pressure. This also translates to a decreased risk of heart disease. One study found that pet owners are less likely to die from a heart attack or stroke than non-owners. Women have a soft spot for their animal friends. In a large study in 2003, over 42,000 adults were surveyed in order to help understand the behavioral patterns among pet owners. The study found that women were actually slightly more likely than men to own a pet and women are more likely to have a cat than men are. The study also found that women give their pets more freedom within the house. They are more likely to allow their pets on the furniture or to sleep on their bed. Interestingly enough, of those who responded that they give their pet free roaming privileges throughout the house, almost 59% were female. Who would have thought that one's choice in household pet could say so much about their personality? But remember, there are always exceptions to the rule. Not everyone fits the mold or the finding of these studies. Perhaps you're just a flat-out animal lover who loves dogs, cats, rabbits, and every other animal in between. Now that you know more about personality differences between dog and cat people, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you fit in the same personality and lifestyle preferences derived from these studies and survey findings? Share your own experience and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.